why do we sing together? If you spend some time with us here at the local church, you know that singing together is a part of our rhythm every week. But why? Why do we take the time to sing together as a community? If you think about it, it's pretty odd. There's not a lot of places outside of church where you join in a chorus of people singing together unless it's for a performance or a choir or maybe at a ball game. So why is it that we sing together? Singing has always been a part of the church's tradition. One of the earliest documents we have in church history is one Roman official writing to another, talking about the small Christian community and saying that they gather together and sing a hymn to Christ as a God. We have documented beautiful songs that have been sung and praised to God in Christian communities throughout the centuries. And singing is not only a part of our history, but it's also rooted in our scripture. There are dozens of songs through the Old and New Testament. Miriam's song, Moses' song, Hannah's song, all of the songs to be found in the Psalms, including the Songs of Ascent, which were songs used to pass the time as people traveled to Jerusalem. The prophets, when they would speak their oracles, sometimes spoke in song. This poetic language carries so much depth of meaning that spoken word alone cannot. We know this to be true in our own lives. Music has the power to communicate things that just saying something in a conversation or saying something in an analytical or rational way cannot. This is true of all art. Paintings, poetry, music, they all capture something profound about the human experience. Think about your favorite songs, the songs that have been meaningful for you in your journey. Maybe the song that you walked down the aisle to, or a song that got you through a breakup, or the songs that come to mind for you when you think of eating dinner together around the family table. Whatever those songs are, they have power and meaning outside of just the words alone, and also just outside of if those words have been spoken to you. In the same way, we sing together every week as a way of creating worlds, as a way of imagining what is possible, opening up opportunities to see things differently, to locate our experience within the experience of those who have gone before us. We sing words that have been passed down to us, maybe more recently or hundreds of years ago, and we join together in a great chorus of angels and all creatures and believers who have gone through the ages before us. We, when we sing together, we know that we are not alone. When we sing together, we can communicate profound truth about who God is and what God is up to, even when it may seem hard to find the words. Our scripture text for this fourth Sunday of Advent is Zachariah's song in Luke chapter 1. And Zachariah's song, I, and I think of it, I can't help but wonder if that time of silence for Zachariah was what made this beautiful proclamation that scripture calls prophecy possible. What was it that he was reflecting on that allowed him to burst into such joyful praise? His song reflects parts of the Old Testament, Isaiah 9, Isaiah 42, and Malachi, and he weaves it together in his own remix, including new things of his own to speak to his situation. We, we heard the same thing with Mary's song a few weeks ago, who draws so heavily on the song of Hannah and on some of the Psalms. And it causes me to remember that sometimes when it feels like we can't speak to what is going on and we don't have the words, the songs that we've heard before can get us through. And so as we gather together on Christmas Eve at 4.30 p.m. here at the Barn of Chapel Hill, we are going to be singing songs together that may be familiar to you. Some that are some classic Christmas songs, some that maybe you have sung year after year, some that may be new to you as well. But as we do that, I invite you not only to sing these songs because it's what we do, or because they're oldies but goodies, but also to think deeply about what it is that we're singing. What does it mean that we celebrate the coming of the Christ child through song? What does it mean that we can sing of a world of peace, a world of hope, a world of joy, a world of love? What does it mean that we sing this together? Look forward to seeing you all there.